Hi, my name's Dan Connell. I am a gastroenterologist practicing in Lancaster County. Dr. Connell screens patients every day for one of the deadliest types of cancers. About 150,000 men and women will be diagnosed per year with colon cancer in the United States, and it's the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. A healthy person without any family history of colon cancer should start screening at age 50. However, if they have a first degree relative with colon cancer, a brother or a mother or father, they should start at age 40. Shirley Whistler's uncle died of the disease, so she makes sure she gets colonoscopies regularly. She's also convinced her father to get a colonoscopy since he's put it off for years. The procedure itself is you're under anesthesia, so you're not awake. There's no discomfort or pain. The most difficult part about the procedure is the prep. Well, most people don't like colonoscopies because you have to drink a laxative preparation the day before. Uh, no one's figured out a way to make those taste good yet. If you have a colonoscopy and it's a good test uh, with a good prep, you don't need to consider doing something like that again for 10 years. So you do get a long window once you get it done. For most people, we recommend having a colonoscopy because in addition to making sure that you don't have colon cancer, it's also a test that detects polyps very accurately. If left alone, polyps can lead to colon cancer. Most polyps are small polyps. Uh, in other words, if you're 50 years old, there's about a 25% chance we're going to find small polyps. And those polyps can be removed easily and very safely at the same time during your colonoscopy. Uh, sometimes polyps are very large and we may choose not to even attempt to remove that until we discuss it with you first. Shirley's test results came back normal, but her father wasn't as lucky. He had three polyps. The polyps were removed. They were very large. Uh, Dr. Connell said he was about six months away from having colon cancer and he had to come back a second time to have another colonoscopy to have um, some of the polyps removed. They were that advanced. I wouldn't skip my mammogram. I wouldn't skip my pap test. I would not skip my colonoscopy.